absolutely need to find you, Mother. Ugh, those are some nasty frame rates. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Interesting. Choose one of these. Okay. Oh, guess it went there. Uh, how many, how many points do I have? Three. Divert people's attention, change subject, and avoid, or avoid questions. Okay. Those people. Sheer force of your will and attitude. All right. Put one there. Be up to date with scientific knowledge and myth. All right. Rely on your knowledge of myths, occult, and religious symbols, as well as ancient languages and secret societies. All right. That's also interesting. Notice. Wait. Is it unlock or level zero? I'm gonna take that away just for now. Put the one there, one there. Benefit from, <clears throat> excuse me. Benefit from a sound cultural background in the arts of geography and history. Discreetly steal items, pick locks. That might be helpful. Get people to act in your own interest. Say less. I'll probably go ahead and start stealing stuff. Boop. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So... To stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, the memories are collar. very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Hmm. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Let's see. Yes. Emily, it hurts me that you could doubt my sincerity. I thought we'd gotten past that stage by now. Don't take it like that, Louis. I was only joking. I thought you were making fun of me. I thought you were someone I could trust. I'm, I'm hurt to see that you're still at the stage of testing me, Duchess. Listen, Louis, I am sorry. I really didn't want to hurt you. Forget what I just said. It was clumsy of me. If you say so. Let's go with that, then. Didn't see me, didn't know me. Push any harder and I'll make a fool of myself. 
Right, time to go to the manor. Hmm. Okay. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Interesting. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Hmm. Where is Lord Mortimer? I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer. Sherlock? Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Do -do. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Um... Screw it. Will you kindly give me the handkerchief? Pass me the handkerchief. But, but, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? This man got the no, glare. Not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. Tis indeed. You must come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about Mother. Oh, well, okay. Let's go for a stroll on the docks.
uh, open the gate. What? Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Oh, well. <laughs> Pick the lock. Yeah. Uh. Dang, it's gonna cost me three of those? Why not? There we are. That better be worth it. Royal Jelly. Restores two ever points you cannot carry more than five. Cool. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. I know, what was that vision earlier? Man's got like weird connections to his mom. He's been playing Norman Bates. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Aha. Uh -huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Hmm. The powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dog. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, yeah, someone it's a waste. on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. Looking for fragments. Increase the maximum. Oh. All right. Amber crystals. Amber crystals. Well, I hope that that was worth it, because that cost me three points just to unlock that stinking gate. Alright, I don't think there's anything else over here. Start strolling. God, it's so dark. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. It just might. Might have to beat someone up with it. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Some more jelly. Is that it? Boy, give me some of that jelly. Some rope. Apparently, no one's touched it for a good long Damn. time. A lantern. Nothing special. Well, then why does it let me click on it? <laughs> See what's hidden inside. Oof. Let's look. Jeez, this is a lot. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. written in an oriental language. I have the slightest idea what it says. Dang. The address he's in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. You really gotta invest in some of these points, don't you? Probably a Dutchman. Oof. Ah, uh, I'll come back to that one. Nope. It doesn't ring a bell.
This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Apparently this letter is meant for Pope Pius VI, born Giovanni Brasci. I wonder which one of these people is influential enough to write to the Pope in person. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. All right, I guess, uh, take Samuel two points. Samuel Ritter Dochoa. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Richet. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? What are yeah, these Mom. strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name. Okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Dang. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Yeah. Best have an answer, Mom. Is that it? There's more over here. All right. Down to the mansion, I guess. What's this? This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Some more jelly. See something? It's like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. That's the barrel's looking at earlier. A Latin inscription. Annesis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. What? Latin is a transit, transit text. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. All right. Let's hi ho upstairs. Some that jelly. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Stupid heavy. Who's opening it? Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Ricci, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very Is important that patted on his hand? But I haven't mm -hmm. seen her. Or a priest? If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. <clears throat> 
Take through several steps while being persuasive as possible. Well, I don't think I put anything in a persuasive slot, so this I'll might not be well. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Hmm. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you worked together. What do you do, exactly? Oof. Take away three of them? Golly. Uh... I guess professional secret? Mm. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, your eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion? and secrecy are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Hmm. Uh, I'm one of these two. I don't want to waste that. Listen, you have nothing to fear. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? You mean Sarah has gone missing? Shit. I shouldn't have said that. Well, oof. Let's not exaggerate your eminence. <clears throat> I have no other information at this time. It's probably nothing. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother would read it? The step will repeat itself until either you give the right one or you have no blunders left. Oof, well, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, sure. I <laughs> swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one. But my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret. He's the killer. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. 
Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. All right. What were you talking about? Do I have any points to use? Doesn't look like it. Forgive my Outside. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Devil's Thorn. Grant you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting your dialogue. Interesting. That's kind of cool. So, how does that work? You're just in the middle of a conversation? You're just like, mm, let me pop this pill real quick and see what I should say. Let me try the door here in a minute. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then, Covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. Where is he hiding this book at? I thought my oh. chimney was right. big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richer, it is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you'll forgive my indiscretion? Hmm. What my mother? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see people gossip. Come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. 
For what reason, exactly? Hmm. St. Vincent, I don't know that she's missing. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. Jeez. <laughs> 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 Seriously, though. Terrible jokes. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Okay. Good lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host. a scary looking man. Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Hmm. This is kind of hard. I think I can figure that stuff out later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show Let's see what this Washington has to girl. say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry, Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. And you, Emily, what do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Mm. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. Well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. 
such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Interesting. I wonder if Mother is still on the island. Could she not have taken a boat and left? I don't see how. No vessel can moor closer than 200 yards. Not to mention the permanent presence of staff and servants. There is one strange thing, I grant you. This island is barely the size of Delaware, and despite that, no one has been able to locate your mother. So my mother still must be on the island. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Johnny Depp? Well, who is that? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that there. statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Uh, let's do this one, I guess. Dialogue timer. Automatically selected, okay. So, old, who was that Fair. young lady with Dang. you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your room. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. I don't know if I like the fact this man's wearing a well, full on friends, mask. I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. She's got See some big tomorrow. old hair. So oh, she's wearing man. one of those bump it things that came out a while back. Right. Where is my room? At the end of the hallway. Is it this way? Let's try it over here. Uh, the freaking doors are here. There's a big old mention huh that's me this is this mine i guess Oop. right so what shall i do with this letter it might be about my mother's disappearance but if i open it i'll be betraying piaggi's trust what should i do hmm <clears throat> I'm going to close Wait, open the lid without breaking the seal. Dang. That's sneaky. Hmm. No, I'm going to leave it closed. Can't wait to right open now. it, but 
I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow! Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Oh, I don't want no coins. I want some of that jelly, bro. Jelly. Toast. I'll have to make me a PB&J here soon. I'll go out there in a minute. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very huh. jolly. Maybe later. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. It always what amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. That's terrifying. I don't want to be sitting here watching a dude biting off the nipples of a child. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Come on, water gives you the focus state, which <clears throat> your next skill use would cost no effort. You know? That would have been nice to, you know have earlier. No. Oh. So just have to go to bed. Alright. Off the coast of England. What the heck? What more was there in the docks? I didn't pick up the book on the quay. Uh, I went up to the manor, found clues and mother in the docks. I convinced Piaggi to trust me the letter. I met Mr. Washington. I remained in the grand hall to speak with Mr. Washington. I asked questions about my mother, well, obviously. Go join Mr. Home in the small salon. I could have made an unexpected, unexpected encounter. Okay. Level two. Okay, well. Might as well go ahead and add one there. Oh, I have to. Oh, okay. I guess I'm just dumb. I'm gonna go ahead and make that level one. That's starting to make more sense. So I can't. Mm. Oh well, it's fine. Everyone who's watching is probably thinking that I'm dumb as hell. I just not figured all that out. Let's see. One of the several volumes of this master of me dedicated his <clears throat> rendition to an open mind to a better understanding of the world. He gave his name to the Zeke symbol. Hmm. Let's see. Occultus. Occultism. Influence. Diversion. Hmm. I guess we'll do this. Can I open them both? No, I can't. Your turn? 
The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted, given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for what this late this hour. Man's it is hair. never too late. And we have he has the worst airline. It's diagonal. One last move. Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come, take a seat, my friend. Nighttime strip. The pent wall going for him. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valeria. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Coming. Oh, yeah. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Mm. Yours faithfully. Okay, I'm coming. Hold your horses. Excuse me. Am I bothering you? <laughs> I no, almost not intended to least. say yes. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? No. What's her name again? Elizabeth Adams. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room, and perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll help old George. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. 
keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Small salon. I wish this gave me, you know, some. Uh, uh the bell parts room, stairs. Maybe it's this one. Monsignor, his eminence nope. Cardinal Piaggi. Louis, you're straying from your objective. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Duke Manuel Godoy. Nope. Downstairs. Probably hope I read some of the stuff inside. Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe a Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Mm. Yeah, go on. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Forget Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let yeah. me go back to my room. What? But you have some weird hair. This dude got hey, a messed up stay eye. Out of it. This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? Oh. I don't think you know who I am. Stop! I beg you. I I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit! Uh. If I step in, Adams might just run back uh. to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search. But this girl's uh. gonna suffer. Damn it! What should I do? Huh? I'll step in. Let her go! Huh? Stay out of it, boy! Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy! If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down! Dang, can't just hit him. Listen, we can sort this out like gentlemen. No, I don't think so. You haven't hurt anyone yet, my friend. No, but I'm about to. Don't think no. you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? Guillotine, I won't bro. stand for it. Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots. Hold on, let's take a second and... If her point is... Oof, I'm mad. Think about this. We're not animals, so let's not act like one. I knew you were a panty waste. You make me want to puke. Okay, you really are an animal. You should have kept your big nose out. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Little poop. Oh, 
that was an utter failure. to rights. Liam, you have failed me. I don't know what you were doing, but Elizabeth returned much too soon. An day earlier, and I would have been caught. I didn't get time to search through everything, but I did manage to find what I was looking for. The young lady really is John Adams' daughter. Signed, George Washington. Well done, Lee. The President of the United States asks for your assistance and you screw it up? The mother finds out I... I uh, know. I get the feeling I'll never hear the end of it. Not for a few years, anyway. Now, what was I going to do last night? Ah, yes. Search the room. According to what I saw in my vision, this room was mother's before I got it. Maybe she left something behind that will help me find her. <laughs> 